All right, back out in the garage. Oh, 53 ZB, probably. This is this is probably the last episode for this playlist, this series, um, unless unless I do a video next spring when I um, put the straight pipe back on there instead of that muffler. Um, we'll see, and there might be a short video of. I take that back. There will be one more, at least, probably two. One next spring when I put the straight pipe back on it, um, and then one tomorrow or Monday when I back it out of the garage and <clears throat> put it on the trailer. Maybe three, maybe even one more, and I get it down to the farm and we try and figure out how to sneak it back into the barn somewhere. But anyway, um, as you can <laughs> obviously tell. Hood's back on it, air cleaner's back on it, air cleaner hose is hooked up. Um, I did not hook up the spring on the uh, choke cable because of the way the uh, choke wire is bent and whatever because I don't have the, there's like a little square block that that's like peened on the back side that rotates and then it's got a set screw kind of deal to hold the cable. Uh, um, whatever this works it starts easy uh, I'm not gonna worry about the choke until it becomes an issue uh, that's got everything done on this side and then we'll walk around over here and uh, valve covers are back on everything's back down tight um, <laughs> radiator is I'm still getting a little drip down here from my drain plug but it's so minor i'm not going to worry about it i think i'm still going to take um there it is that white bucket right there this thing i'm going to take that with me and get the i don't know two and a half or almost three gallons of radiator juice out of the radiator after we get it parked just so we don't have to worry about it dripping out all winter and, you know if it's in the bucket i can use it on another project but uh <laughs> got my seat hold down strap there um, yeah that's a lots and lots of tread <laughs> with lots of big cracks if I had a pair of those no cracks man I'd be tractor pulling genius anyway I don't so um go very golly there it is, 1953 ZB. Uh, video response to little Wayne Lohorn. He asked earlier if this is a pulling tractor. Uh, <laughs> sort of, ish. As I said in an earlier video, it's 145 over with a high compression head. I do have my weight bracket on the front just because it was easier to put that back on and drop the battery back down into that spot. Oh, that battery doesn't fit perfect because it's got <clears throat> when I built it, the battery I was using didn't have. Let me see this one. There's a that little, there's a little lip there on the bottom of the battery. It's like a hold down lug for when you fold it into the truck or whatever. And that adds just, there's one on each side that adds just enough extra that it doesn't sit down in flat. So if I ever go back to a permanent battery for, the, for it, um, we will uh, try to get one that doesn't have that or we'll hack it off or something but um, anyway there it is 1953 Minneapolis Moline ZB uh, serial number I think it's 0620000067 number 67 built let's see if I don't know if it'll focus on that or not if it does I can't I can't focus on what the camera, hold on, put my readers on, put my cheaters on, what's the camera say? Well, there's a shadow right there, oh, there we go, was it focusing, something, yeah, 0620067, oh, real early ZB, uh, so anyway, there it is. 
that's probably that's this will be the last ZB 1953 ZB video from the garage um, any videos from here on out will be well maybe one more as I back it out of the garage but I don't know, we won't put we might put the tripod out and I don't know, we'll figure it out I can sit up here and catch me backing out I don't know this whole video thing and is too much thought too much work to think about I'll uh, get this one out and the uh, next projects already in the yard waiting to get Christmas lights off of it for it to come in and get gaskets and probably rings bearing valve job blah 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 and then hopefully we get it freshened up that it'll be it'll live up to my expectations of what what it should do but anyway that's enough on the old ZB man I'm glad to have that thing back going again I really like this tractor anyway I'll be back.